we all know that there is no life without water. And today I'm going to tell you about the most important source of clean water in the Balkans, the Dinarids. The Dinarids contain important freshwater ecosystems, including the most extensive network of underground rivers and lakes in Europe and wetlands of international importance. And that is one of the biggest reasons why we need to protect it, because what would we do without fresh water? Furthermore, Dinarids are home to many endemic species, species that do not exist anywhere in the world. And that is the reason why we have to explore life in Dinarids. So my work is just a piece of a puzzle in understanding and discovering life in Dinarids. Today I'm going to tell you something more about one interesting animal, Nefargus. But what is Nefargus? It is a small crustacean that lives in the springs and in the caves of Dinarids. With more than 400 described species, the groundwater of Dinarids is home to about 30% of described species of all known Nefargus. However, even after more than 200 years since the first described Nefargus species and after more than 10 years of intensive molecular studies, the complete diversity of the Dinarids is still unknown and our mission was to discover more. It is essential because to protect an animal, we first have to know what we are working with. People sometimes forget about animals that live under the surface, but everything we do on the surface reflects the life of subterranean and strikes us back. To study this diversity, we collected 163 specimens of Nefargus Boschkovich from 43 localities in central and southern Almatia, Herzegovina and western Montenegro. We compared their genetic background with a central database of more than 1,500 Nefargus sequences. Why did we do this? to understand more about the complexity of their life and diversification of species. It is important to add that Nefarcus Boschkovich was only found in Belishitsa locality and another nearby locality, a well-known cave, Vietranica. After we did much analysis to understand their evolutionary development, newly discovered species increased species richness by 61%, which is an amazing proof of the richness of just one species in Dinarids. Imagine what else can we find. There is a proverb that says, we do not inherit earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. We are playing our part in keeping this planet for our kids, and you should do that too.